Islands, among the deadliest of all snakes. In uh, one Costa Rican study, Bushmasters had killed 80% of their victims, but four out of five people, even with antivenom. So when you're enthusiastic to get in here with us, it's going to push the barriers down. Being very long snakes, they can strike very far. A 12-foot-long Bushmaster lying flat on the ground could strike you right in the face. But it wouldn't need to strike you in the face. So we only have to dip the end of your little finger or your toe. The result would be the same. You would die. I don't want to be In some cases, in one to ten minutes, the long fangs wound important blood vessels and send the venom directly to the heart. Now, these snakes have another irritating habit besides being able to strike so far. This is one of the few snakes known to chase you. <laughs> With the uh, king cobra and the black mamba, this is one of the three large deadly snakes occasionally implicated in unproposed attacks will actually rush right after you for no apparent reason. When we open up this glass today, you may see an example of that. Now these snakes are pit vipers. This does not mean they live in a pit underground. It means they have insensitive pits under their eyes. With these pits, they can attack the warmth of their prey. They can accurately, <laughs> accurately chase a little... <coughs> They can accurately chase a little animal in total darkness, just by feeling the heat even off from its body. Accurately pursue it, strike it, catch it, without even seeing it. Just from its own body warmth. Well, guess what? You are also warm. Your hand is about the size of a rat. <laughs> Your foot is about the size of a rat. And to a bushmaster out hunting, you give off the same thermal target as their natural prey. So this is the reason we believe Bushmasters chase people. Not because they're so angry at us, but because they get mixed up, they think we are dinner. Well, we're going to show you how all that works. We've got something here for them in this bucket. They really, really love hot, juicy rats. And when I say hot, I mean really hot. They're floating in hot water. No, they're not swimming. <laughs> they're floating. Actually, they've already sunk me to the bottom. They're, they're quite dead. We killed them some hours ago very humanely, or at least my associate did. I say very humanely, right, Michael? Because when I walked into the room, I saw a suspicious smile on his face. I've not been able to forget all day. We'll have to do something to correct me. At any rate, these rats are very, very hot now, and this is to fool the Bushmaster into thinking he's going to get something live and hot and warm to eat. So there's two of them in here, one in this log, one of them uh, over here in the corner. They're an average size Bushmaster of about seven feet. And uh, they're going to show an immediate reaction when they smell the food and when they and when they feel the heat. More importantly, they're going to offer them these warm, <laughs> juicy racks. Before I begin, I'm going to put a little something in these racks. This is not antivenom. It's far too late for these rats. It's not heroin. No, I meant for you. <laughs> to numb the pain. No, this is uh, something much more innocuous. Vitamins. And uh, we sell these handy applicators, by the way, up there in the gift shop. <laughs> if you want to experiment on your own children. Bushmasters.
injecting gobs and gobs of venom now into each rat. Probably enough over here to kill about 10 of you. And over here another 10. I won't say which 10. Bushmaster feel like he's very rough and sharp, not like any other snake you will ever touch. He feels like a pine cone or a pineapple. His uh, scales are so sharp they can cut your fingers. And on the end of the tail, a little thorn. It's like a little thorn on a rose bush. You vibrate that thorn in the weeds, it makes a loud rustling sound. To scare away their enemies and their friends. Actually, they don't have any friends. <laughs> <laughs> 